Hello everybody, Camp Counselor Kevin here, back with another Camp Dragoncraft video. This time we're doing our video for the first annual Survival Challenge competitors. We're going to do a video on how to defeat common mobs in the game. I think this will help you all as you go out throughout your journey. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the common mobs, the zombie, the creeper, the skeleton, the spider, the witch. And then when you get to the nether, the zombie, pigman, the blaze, and the ghast. We're only going to be focusing on swords. Once you guys are able to craft a bow and arrow, um, they don't deal as much damage as a sword, but they're obviously much more useful because, or they're useful because you can hit the uh, mobs from further away. Okay, but we'll start with the wooden sword, and then the best is the diamond. Wooden and the gold are the weakest, the diamond is the strongest. The wooden sword deals five hit points of damage, and the diamond sword deals eight hit points of damage. And that matters because the mobs each have certain health levels. The zombie has two hit, 20 hit points health, and so that arguably will take four hits of the wooden sword, except it takes five because you gotta get over the 20. So let's show it in action. Zombies are easy. You don't have to back up. You don't have to do anything. You can just stand still and fight them. So let's do the wooden sword. You get one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, now the diamond sword should only do three hits because you got eight hit points damage each. One, two, three. There we go. Three hits would be 24 damage. Okay, now there is something called the super hit. Oh, the zombie villager, which is a jump hit. Jump down, on the way down, hit them, two, three. See, it deals much more damage, okay? Let's see if we can do it two hits with a diamond sword. It's got to be on the way down, though. Jump on the way down, hit. There you go, two kills, or two hits for the kill. So now that you notice, you want to do those jump shots the best, you know, as often as you can. Obviously, sometimes they're not eat are not available. Um, you just don't have the chance to do it, but they're the best to do if you can. Let's do the creeper now. Creepers have 20 hit points damage also. The problem is they explode, right? So if anyone knows why I used obsidian, it's because it will survive an explosion by a creeper and I won't have to rebuild the wall. Creepers you have to get away from, okay? Or they'll blow up. Attack, hit, back away. Okay, attack, hit, back away. The problem with creepers, then you can run through them. After you get two hits, you can charge them because four hits with a wooden sword kill them. And then diamond sword takes three, but if you do it fast enough, you can get them. I don't think you guys will be fast oh, with, this, with the mouse as that yet until you get used to it, so hit back away. Especially if you're near whatever you're building, you don't want your stuff to get blown up, right? So the best thing to do is just back away so your stuff doesn't get blown up and you don't get frustrated about having to rebuild it. So just back away. Use the WASD, S backs away, W to go forward, S to back away, okay? W go forward, oh no, Whew. just made it. S to back away, there, okay? You guys won't have the diamond sword for a while. You'll have the wooden sword to start, then you'll upgrade to stone, which does six hit points of damage, and then hopefully you'll get up to iron fairly quickly, which is seven. So seven will take four hits on the creeper because, or iron sword will take four, because seven times three, oh, it'll take three, right? Because seven times three is 21. There we go. So it's just as good as the diamond sword. So you want to get iron as quickly as you can, and it's pretty easily available, uh, readily available, easy to find. Okay, so let's do a skeleton now, which is annoying, and which is why I built these posts, because I'm going to show you my technique, okay? Skeleton, when they spawn in, they shoot arrows. And so what I like to do is hide. They're 20 hit points also, but you can avoid them by hiding, okay? And yes, it may be a little bit weak to do, but I don't care, I don't like to die in this game. So, I still have full health, right? Let's do it again, this time with a diamond sword. I dodge it, I did not dodge it. But you can peek, see where he's going, peek, hit. It's called peeking, oh, he came the other way. There, we got him. Let's see what I look like. I got arrows coming out from all over me. Okay, so you peek, back away, Try to dodge the first shot. Didn't do it again. Dodge it. Missed. You missed me. Missed me. Peekaboo. Oh. Peekaboo. Got him. Three hits. 20 hit points. Okay? So those are the skeletons. They are frustrating because they can shoot from far away, right? The biggest problem with them is when you're in the water. You don't want to be in the water when a skeleton's attacking. Okay? Because they're just going to keep knocking you back with the arrows and you can't get out of the water. It's really frustrating. 
But just ask me if you're having problems, okay? During camp, just ask, oh, here comes a spider. We're just going to spawn them. See how quick they are? These guys won't attack during the day. But during the night, they'll just come after you like the other mobs. So, with the wooden sword, it takes four hits. And what you want to do is back away because their jump, they move really quickly. Okay? So back away from it. Now, we use the diamond sword. It takes three. There we go. Oh, it took two. That's right. I'm sorry. Spiders are only 16 hit points of, of health. So it will take four with the wood and two with the diamond. Hey, guy, don't you see me? Hello. There we go. <laughs> he wasn't, a, wasn't the smartest, uh, sharpest knife in the drawer. So spiders aren't too bad. You do have to back away from them, though. I call it um, dodge and weave. All right? Now, witches, on the other hand, are not fun. And I'm going to cheat. You guys won't have these potions, but I'm cheating to keep them because I didn't get food to regenerate. Witches are difficult. Witches have 26 hit point health. So that means how many? Five from the wooden sword? You need six hits with the wooden sword to get up above 26. And with the diamond sword, you need four hits. The problem with the witches is they throw stuff at you. All right? They'll throw potions at you. So you got to move away from them. He still hit me with it. All right? So I try to dodge it and then charge. Four, five, six. There we go. Okay, but now I'm poisoned. Oh, it's over. That wasn't too bad, right? It only took me down three hearts. Okay? If that happens to you and you have your health bar lower and your food bar is low, make sure you eat right away. Okay? And if you don't have food, run away. Don't fight witches. Don't fight any of these guys. All right, here we go. Try to dodge it. Oh, he missed. Now I'm going to charge him. One, two, three, four. See, now that's not bad at all. You've got to dodge the first toss. Okay? If you can dodge the first toss, then you're good. Just keep moving around. He missed one. Oh, he did. Three, four. Okay? But look, see, I got me a slowness and poison. And what poison does is it takes you down as it counts down. It takes your hearts away until it runs out. So he took me all the way down to four hearts. You guys won't have this potion of healing. Okay, so you're going to have to eat right away, like I said. Okay, now those are the, the common ones. We're not going to do Enderman because they're just too hard to fight until you have armor. But what we will do is when we go into the nether, these are the common ones. Zombie Pigman, the Blaze, and the Ghast. So let's fight those guys. Zombie Pigman is like a spider. Oh, it's a baby Pigman. Let me show you how this works. These guys are like spiders during the day. They are friendly, okay? Look, you can say, hey, little guy, how's it going? You can look at them. You can do anything. What happens, though, is when you hit them, not only will this one charge, but everyone around them will charge, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. You hit one. Now they all come, okay? And now you got trouble. I had, see, that's what happens. You hit one and you got trouble. The other problem is when you respawn and when you try to go back and get your stuff, they're still angry. So you have to run around like a lunatic, pick up your stuff, keep running, and now you're ready. Hit and back away. Gosh, they're so good. Hit and back away, okay? They're cool because they drop golden swords, which are actually not very useful, but they're fun to pick up. So when you respawn... You have to um, run like crazy to get your stuff back. Let's do it again. Oh, another one. You know, usually spawn babies. Okay, so you hit one, they both come, right? I'm about dead. So run away. Where the heck did he come from? <laughs> See how difficult it is? Oh, they're after me already. Run away and pick up your stuff. Pick it up. And they keep coming after you. And if you're with your friends and a multiplayer, wow, he took me down. Do you see that? To one heart. Just those two hits. They're so strong. They only have 20 hit point damage. Like the regular zombie. But they're so fast. So you want to hit them and back away. Okay? Hit them and back away. Let's do it again. Hit and back away. Hit. Hit and back away. Now they both come. So now you go from 20. You only need to do three hits with the diamond sword. To need to do six. Because you got to kill two of them. Right? Okay. Let's go do the blaze which is always fun. Okay, let's see. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Where's my wooden sword? Oh. Well, I guess that's gone. There it is. Okay. The blaze. These guys are a pain, too, because like the skeleton, they can shoot far away. 
and they fly. They have 20. Oh, he got me. They have 20 hit points of damage. And they... Oh, I knocked him out of the thing. <laughs> they have 20 hit points of damage. Oh, no, I can't get him way over there. But they... What happens is when they're fired up, they shoot at you. No matter how far away you are. Okay? So there. They almost always... Oh, my gosh, I'm dead. <laughs> that didn't work so well, did it? Okay, let's try that again. Oh. Okay, so you want to try to hide as much as you can. And I'm not even going to bother hitting them. But a diamond sword will get them. Hello? Why are you not dying? Hello? What is going on here? Help. Why is this not working? Ah! Help. All right, let's try the gold sword. Sometimes the video games get glitched. This guy just does not want to die. Let me try this one. There, that one will get hit. So you can jump and run away. And when they stop being flamed up like this, they won't shoot you. Although you can't run into him. There, he's back alive. But see how he's getting flamed up? Oh, he got me again. There, we got him. Oh, he got me too. <laughs> see, you guys, you're going to die in this game. It just happens. So you can't get frustrated, right? Like I told you, no getting frustrated about it. Just having fun. Oh, look, he caught our trees on fire. That is not cool. Okay, so next, let's do this blaze again because that was not that cool. Okay, so what I do is when you run into them, go from side to side like this while they shoot at you. They'll shoot three, and usually they're not very good shots. After that, they become docile, so they have to kind of like reload. So wait till you hear the noise. Oh, that guy blocked me. And then dodge, and then you can hit them. It'll take them a while to flare up, okay? That's not too bad, right? You just have to dodge their first few shots. Let's do it again. Diamond Sword, same 20 hit points damage. Oh, you only need three hits. One, two, three. With the Wooden Sword, you need five, right? Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, now we have the ghast. The ghasts are interesting because they're almost impossible to defeat with a sword. But I'm going to show you what you can do. Hey, ghast. You can knock back their fireballs. See what I did? I hit it. I point the cursor, or you call it the crosshair, the, cro the um, cross in the middle of the screen, and you hit it just like baseball. You hit it back, okay? The gas make those fun noises. They don't shoot at you unless they see you. So you'll hear them first. There, hit it back. I can't get far enough away. They blew up some of this. They'll blow up things. Run away. All right, here we go. Ouch. Okay, now we can play. All right. So they will shoot at you whenever they see you. But, I uh, missed it. But you can hit those back at them. Hopefully it'll go the right direction. Got them. Just like baseball. Now, it's difficult to get used to, okay? I admit. So, what you want to do is have a bow and arrow. Ow! When you go into the nether, okay? I'm on fire. Oh, hit it back out. Ow! Ow! Ooh, ow! Ooh. Oh my gosh, I might not live. Help me. There he is. So they look at you. If they see you, if they have a line of sight, they'll shoot at you, no matter what. Got it. But I'm going to show you with the bow and arrow. Oh, I missed him. And you can kind of aim. Come on, guy. So there it goes. He's got to get him. Yes. Got him. Let me, uh, let me pause for a minute, and I'm going to show you with the bow and arrow. Okay? Be right back. Okay, I am back, this time with the bow and arrow, which does a little bit less damage than the wooden sword does. It takes three hits, two to three hits to kill the ghast, um, which has ten hit points of damage. So let's give it a try. You'll note I had to repair my arena because of the darn gas blowing things up. They will blow up grass blocks. They'll blow up the nether rack. They'll blow up dirt. So when you go to the nether, you want to bring cobblestone with you. you we want to build walls because depending on where the portal spawns you, it might spawn you right in front of a bunch of gas. So you want to build a wall when you get there, if, if necessary. All right, here we go. Let's do it with the bow and arrow. Whoa, well hit already. So we got one, we got two, and three. Okay? One hit. Oh, messed up my thing again. Uh, one hit takes off three hearts. And when you're shooting a bow and arrow, 
what you have to do is you have to aim above what you're trying to hit. So if I want to hit that, I have to aim above the bark and see it fall. Let's do it again. Watch the arc of the bow arrow. It falls, right? So you have to aim above. And then if this, your target's moving, you have to lead it, which means you have to shoot in front of it. So let's try it again. Let's let this guy get far away. If you hide from him, he doesn't have line of sight, which means he doesn't see you, which means he won't shoot at you. Now he's further, oh, he's coming back. Oh, he hurt. He did not appreciate that. Let's just get him and spawn another one. There we go. We got him. Okay, let's do another one. Let him get further away. These guys probably take the most skill. Oh, boy. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, no. He can see me. These guys take the most skill because they can fire from far away. So here we go. You shoot above it and in front of it. There we go. See? Above and in front. There we go. Man, they are doing a number on here. Let's do it again. Ready? Above and in front of where it's moving. Okay? I'm going to let them get them further away, and I'll show you what happens if you don't lead it. Of course, you won't find gas here. They're only in another. But here we go. Let's dodge and weave. Ready? Whoop! Now you got to lead them just in front of them. See, now that was too far because he backed off. Okay. He's going down. There, I hit him on the way down. Now he's heading over this way. Missed him. So you got to really lead him. Ah, oh, he turned. And you got to shoot above him. Got him. See how far that was? Pretend he was here and he was moving that way. I had to aim right here and above. So that's what makes it difficult. Wow, look at what he did. Oh, he blew up my... That is not cool. He blew up my chest. All right, let's do it again. One more time. And on the way out, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders on Friday, December 18th. Got him. For our next Camp Dragoncraft meeting, the second session of our survival challenge. Can I get him? No, I missed. And if anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate. I got him. Please do not hesitate Whee! to email, uh, post a uh, message on the, on the YouTube channel here. I will um, email you back as soon as possible. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, I'm always happy to answer questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes you better Minecrafters, better survivalists. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.